big thanks to all the companies here that provided samples and made this video possible. If you'd like to check out more from these companies, check out the links down below. All right, I know you've been waiting for it, but today I have my video on some of my favorite fountain pens out there. Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews. Of course, the channel is dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. Now, a while back, I made a video about some things that no one taught me about fountain pens. There was a lot that I didn't understand about fountain pens until I started to go down the rabbit hole. Now, if you haven't watched that video, definitely go up here and go watch it up there. In that video, I didn't really talk a lot about specific fountain pens, but that changes today. I'm gonna be talking about a lot of my favorite fountain pens that I found along in my journey. And this is not a comprehensive list by any means, and it's really not a list of the best in the world. <laughs> there are so many fountain pens out there. These are just some that I really love from makers that I really love. I think this guide on fountain pens will be good for anyone in the hobby, whether you're just a beginner or whether you're experienced in the hobby. These offer a lot of different suggestions at different price points that I think will be good for just about anyone. Oh, one quick note real quick. This video turned out to be really long, like over 45 minutes on the initial edit. So I had to shorten everything down and condense everything everything. In the process, I had to cut out some of my reviews for these pens. So I decided to make this list video kind of a condensed version of all of my suggestions. And then I'm going to also release each suggestion as its own review with full pros and cons and my full thoughts there. But if you want to go watch my pen videos, you can go up here in this playlist and I'll have all of them listed up there. And of course, before we start, don't forget to subscribe down below. I love you for it. I think if you like this type of content, if you like videos about quality, about good suggestions on things, if you like videos on pens, definitely check out the channel. I think that you'd like to subscribe below. And also I'll have links down below to all of these pens and resources where you can go and find these. If I have any affiliate links, I'll have them listed down below. Anytime you buy anything through those does help out the channel. Always appreciate it when you do that. All right, let's go ahead and get straight to it. Let's go to the first suggestion. And this is on a very inexpensive pen. And my first suggestion is the Amazon Basics pen right here obviously from Amazon. Now this is the cheapest pen on my list. I realize that there are cheaper options out there, but I think this is probably the cheapest option that I would recommend for the quality that it provides. This is less than $10 and that by itself is amazing. It really packs a punch with value and you would not know this is $10 if someone just handed this to you. It writes pretty well, has a lot of feedback in the nib, almost scratchy to a point, which I kind of expect that for a $10 pen. And I have this in a medium point. The cap is postable on the barrel and when you fasten it back, it just snaps shut. This has a really nice weight to it. I love the kind of classic look this has. The pen comes with two ink cartridges that are also branded Amazon Basics. I'm not exactly sure what the ink is, but the ink itself is also really good. I don't know if this fits a cartridge converter. They didn't provide a converter with this pen. That said, it fits a standard small international cartridge, and I think that's really great by itself. Now, of course, this pen isn't perfect, but overall for $10, this is an amazing value, and this is something that I can just highly recommend to anyone. If you're looking for a pen to start your collection, if you're not sure what to get for a fountain pen, definitely get this $10 pen. I think this is a really excellent pen for the money. It's a great pen in general. I love it. But yeah, definitely check out this Amazon Basics fountain pen. It's fantastic. Next is another budget-friendly pen, and this one has a flex nib. If you're not sure what that term means, definitely go and refer to the first video I mentioned before. But this one offers a flex nib, and this one is the Noodler's Ahab. Now, Noodler's is an interesting company. The Ahab is one of their more popular pens, mostly because it's a very inexpensive pen that offers a flex nib. And because of that, I do think that it is worth checking out. The Ahab is a thicker pen. It's just plastic on the outside. The nib does have a decent amount of flex to it. Another great feature is the feed on this is made of ebonite. And the converter that it has is kind of an in-house plunger style converter. The ink that I'm using with this is the Noodler's Black. It's a bulletproof black, it's great. Overall, this pen is okay. $25 will not break the bank. And I think if you're wanting to try a flex pen, you might wanna try this, you might wanna look into it, but I would suggest maybe buying a pen maybe in this price range and just buying a flex nib. $25 is not a lot of money, but even here, I think that $25 is not worth your money with this pen, honestly. Next is the smallest pen in this list, and this one is the Pocket 6 by Shone Design. 
Now the Pocket 6 is an absolutely fantastic small pen. And this is supposed to be one of the smallest pens with a full size number six nib that you can find. Show Design makes all of their pens here in the United States. And this is one pen that I think is just spectacular. You can also get these in a lot of different materials. Now the one that I have is the black anodized aluminum barrel with the silver anodized section. The nib on mine is actually a Bach number six nib, but they've later upgraded these pens to have a Yovo nib. This writes really well. Now the ink that I'm using here is a Monteverde black. Now this only takes ink cartridges. To some people that might be a downside, but because it takes ink cartridges, they managed to get the size down to the absolute minimum smallest it could be. And this is just a featherweight pen. It is small, very pocketable, and it's a joy to use. I love the design here. When you use the cap, you twist off the cap, post it on the back, and then it becomes a full-sized pen. They also feature an O-ring inside the cap. So whenever you're replacing the cap, you feel that nice kind of ease into the threads there. I love that. This is a really fun pen for a good price. This is $125. I think that is an excellent price for such a high quality pen. It's so enjoyable to use and I love it. This is almost a perfect pen. I absolutely love this. Definitely check out the Shown Design Pocket 6. Next is another choice from Shown Design and this is their Ultem pen. Now the Shown Design Ultem is one of my absolute favorite pens. This is part of the engineered plastics line from Shown Design. It includes Ultem, which is what I'm showing here. Ultem is a material that is often used for guitar picks. So the nerd in me really had to get this Ultem pen. <laughs> now this was Shown Design's foray into making full-sized fountain pens, and they did a great job with this. There are tons of O-rings everywhere. You can post the cap as well, and that O-ring catches in just the most satisfying way, and it's sticks there, it's great. Now you can use an international cartridge with this. You can use a converter with this, but I think the best way to use this pen is to eyedropper it. This was designed with an eyedropper in mind, and this one is inked up with the Tobacco Sunburst by Diamine. Now this has a Yovo number no. six nib on here, and it writes like an absolute dream. There's just a slight bit of feedback on it. It's a very wet writer, and it's just really fun, really comfortable to use. I absolutely love it. This is an absolutely perfect pen. I love it. It is not inexpensive. This is $250 for this pen, but with that price comes perfection, and $250 on this pen is absolutely worth it. If you want a pen that writes like a dream, that looks incredible, get this pen. It's fantastic. Next is a pen from Prometheus Writes, and that is their Alpha Bamboo Fountain Pen. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, especially my pens content, then you know that I like Prometheus a lot. They make incredible products. When I found out they make the Alpha Bamboo Fountain Pen, I had to get this. I love this pen. It did not disappoint at all. All. Now the one that I got is in Electrolus Nickel, and though I think that Nickel is the least sexy option that they have, this is still my favorite, and it's even the cheapest. Now from the name Bamboo and from the way it looks, you can obviously tell it's meant to resemble a bamboo reed, and more specifically, a bamboo reed pen, which is one of the first pens ever made in history. Now this specific pen uses only Pelican Edelstein ink cartridges, and if you're familiar with Prometheus at all, they machine everything to really tight tolerance. It has a titanium clip on the outside. If you like pen clips, it's a perfect pen clip. Now the cap is postable and I actually prefer to post it. I find the weight really kind of balances more whenever you're posting it and I think it looks even better when you're posting it. The nib on this is a Bach 060 nib. It comes in different sizes. The one that I have is in broad and a Pelican Edelstein Tanzanite cartridge is provided with the actual pen itself. That's the ink that I'm writing with right now. The nib on this is very smooth. I'm not sure if they had this polished beforehand, but it writes really well. Prometheus Writes also has these 3D printed pen stands, which I love. They're lightweight, they look really cool, and they hold seven pens. Overall, I absolutely love this pen. 100% recommend the Alpha Bamboo Fountain Pen. Next is a pen set that features a ballpoint and a fountain pen, and this one is the cap from Allegory Goods. Allegory Goods is a company that I've mentioned a few times on the channel. They make amazing pens made of reclaimed wood. Every pen they make has this unique story that goes behind it, and they look and feel fantastic whenever you're using them. And the one that I'm showing here is the Cap Rollerball and Fountain Pen Set, the Cap. And as per usual, it is just exquisitely made. 
Now for this cap set, they offer it in either olive wood or teak wood, and you can mix and match the options between the two pens. The set that I got has a rollerball in teak and the fountain pen in olive wood. I love the way that the wood feels. It has just this nice warm feeling to it whenever you hold it. It's the perfect kind of width. The cap is postable and offers a magnetic closure on the cap and the back of the pen whenever you're posting. They don't say what the nib is exactly. To me, this looks like a Schmidt nib, and that's what I'm assuming that it is. This has a very excellent weight and feel, very balanced in the hand. The nib has a little bit of feedback, but it is a very wet writer, which I really like a lot. Very easy to write with, and I love the way that it looks and feels. Of course, this can take international cartridges, but they also provide an ink converter as well. And the ink that I'm using for this one is Diatrementus Olive Green. I can highly recommend Allegory Goods. They have just incredible craftsmanship on everything they do. All the pens that I've used have been great, including these. These are fantastic. Highly recommend Allegory Goods. Definitely check them out. Next is a pen from Keras Pen Co., and that is the Keras Customs Decograph. Keras Customs, again, is another company that I've mentioned several times in this channel. Now, Keras has a couple of different fountain pens, but the one that I have here is the Decograph. And the Decograph is another one of my favorite pens. I love how classic the silhouette is while still being really modern looking as well. And the one that I have here is in matte gray aluminum. Now, the name kind of signifies the kind of overall aesthetic that it has, which is Art Deco. And I think they did a great job in kind of bringing that aesthetic into the pen. I think this matte gray looks great. It's kind of a cooler gray color. It looks like something that I would find on maybe a pickup truck or something like that. The cap is postable and I find it posts really well. The cap itself has a really thick O-ring in there somewhere because whenever you post it, it feels like it's just on hydraulics. The nib on this is a Bach number no. six size nib with their own Keras branding on it. This is a really comfortable pen. It writes really well. There's not a lot of feedback in here. It's a very smooth writer, has good ink flow. And of course it uses an international cartridge and it also uses a Schmidt converter that is provided. Keras really thinks about their pens. They take pride in these little small details that really set everything off. That's what I love about Keras in general, and I think everything is kind of summed up in this Decograph pen. There's almost nothing I would change about this. This is another pen that I think is pretty perfect. Now, the ink that I'm using here is actually an ink that was designed for Keras Pen Company, and that is their Desert Varnish ink. Overall, I'm in love with this Decograph pen. I think it's fantastic, and I think that if you're looking for a pen with this kind of classic but yet modern look to it, the Decograph may be your pen. It's wonderful. Next is this pen right here, and this one is by a Japanese company called Wancher, and this pen is called the Primo. Wancher is a pen company that is based in Japan. Now they have a lot of great pens in their line, but the one that I'm showing here is the Primo, and the Primo is made out of titanium and aluminum. One of the things that's especially noticeable besides the bright blue color on this is the finish itself. If you look at the surface, there is almost like this randomized texture on there that almost looks like topographical. And they say that this is done in the anodization process and that gives it a kind of randomized finish. Now this pen of course can use international cartridges which are provided with the pen as well as a cartridge converter which is also provided. And the ink that I'm using for this is Pilot Iroshizuku Konpeki. The nib on this is a number six Yovo nib and this one is in medium and it's a very good writer. There's some feedback on there and it has a pretty good ink flow as well. And also they have a little pen sleeve in there, which I always really appreciate. This pen looks like it would be really heavy, but it's actually not super heavy. It's a very balanced pen. The cap does not post and I don't think you really need to. It'd be, it'd be enormous at that point. There's no O-ring in the cap, but in this case, for whatever reason, I don't think that you really need one. It is very smooth whenever you put on the cap. Now, I really like this pen a lot. I think that it is a beautiful pen, very balanced in the hand. It feels great when you write with it. The price on this is $295, which is another one that is pretty high, but I almost have no complaints with this one either. This is just a very cool pen with a really interesting look and appeal that is unlike any of my other pens on this list. I mean, it's completely different, and I love it for that reason. So definitely check out the Primo by Wancher. Next is a pen from Taiwan from the company Y Studio. Now, I don't remember if I saw this on social media or YouTube, but I'm really glad that I found out about Y Studio because I really love their hexagonal brass pen design. Sometimes brass pens can be really heavy, but I think they did a great job here in making it as light as possible. And they even make their own nibs in-house, which I think is really cool. And in this case, this nib is in fine. Now you can use international cartridges for the ink, or you can use the converter that comes with the pen. 
Now this comes in four different colors as well as a naked brass. And what I think is really cool about this is they give you a sheet of sandpaper so you can take off a little bit of the paint if you want. I think that's a really cool touch. Now this writes really well and especially for a fine tipped pen, I find that this is very smooth. You hardly need any pressure to write at all. There's just a tiny bit of feedback on here. You get a good amount of ink flow out of it. And the ink that I'm using here is Diamine Oxblood. Now the cap just clicks into place and it does not post. And again, because it's brass, if you were to cap it, it would just be really heavy to use, I think. I love that this is a hexagonal design because you can just place it on your table and it won't roll. This is a fantastic pen and I definitely think that you should check this out. So definitely check out Y Studio Classic Revolve. Next is a pen from the company Machine Era, and this one is their fountain kit. Machine Era reached out to me with this pen a long time ago, and unfortunately, this pen is actually not available anymore. But I still wanted to mention this because I think it's such a great fountain pen. Now, as the name suggests, this is the fountain kit, which means it is a fountain pen as well as a rollerball pen, depending on which setup you'd like. So essentially, it comes with everything you need for either the fountain pen or the rollerball. This is a beautiful pen. This is designed and made in the USA, and it's based on one of their really popular pens that they sell. This one is made of solid brass, and it is not super heavy. It is really a perfect weight for the size here. On the side, there's three ink windows, so you can see the ink levels on the inside, and there is a small cap on the top that screws into place. But what I love is that you can post the top on the back and there's little threads on the end of the pen barrel and you can screw in the cap right there. Now it comes with a long international cartridge and a converter on the inside. And I have this one inked up with Robert Oster bronze. This has a Schmidt nib with an iridium point and I find this is a great writer. Very smooth with just a hint of feedback and it has a very good ink flow and this nib has a medium tip. It's a great size and weight. I love the cap. I love that it has a rollerball option and I love the price. The price is $75 for this. And for a pen like that made in the USA with all the details here, I mean, I think you really can't beat that deal at all. So maybe you guys out there will kind of pester Machine Era and see if they can make this again because it is a beautiful pen that I think deserves a lot more attention. Next is a pen from Pilot, and this one is their E95S. Now, Pilot needs no introduction when it comes to pens. They are a megalith in the pen industry, and they've made countless pens that are great designs. But one that I really love from Pilot is this, the E95S. Now, there's so much to love about this pen. It is very lightweight, it's compact, and it has a gold nib. And let's talk about this nib real quick. This is a very interesting nib and feed, very low profile and sleek. I find that it looks like a lady's fingernail and that's what I really like about it. And that's why I like this colorway the most. Now I mentioned this being compact and it is a great small-ish type of pen. I like this design where you take it out of its cap, post the cap and it becomes a full size pen. And let me talk about the writing experience. It is butter. It is one of the best writers out there that I have tried. It is absolute perfection. It is a joy to write with and I would write with this all day long. Now the ink that I have with this is Monteverde Napa Burgundy and I really like this ink a lot. Now this comes with a proprietary pilot cartridge or the provided converter that comes inside this pen. I still think this is an amazing pen with just a really cool look to it, a buttery smooth writer, and I absolutely love it. Definitely check out the Pilot E95S, fantastic. Next is a pen from the Italian company Venustas, and this one is the Magna CC. Now, Venustas is a really interesting company because they make pens that are entirely or mostly made out of carbon fiber. The process for making these pens is very long and laborious, but I love how kind of minimalistic this pen is while using a couple of features to kind of signify where each part is. It posts very easily. And then the middle section, you can pop it out and it's a little bit longer. And that shows you where you can put a cartridge or a converter on the inside. Now the nib on this is titanium. This is a medium nib. It is very, very wet, almost a gusher, I would say. It's very smooth, has a little bit of springiness in it. And I love this nib a lot. The pen is surprisingly comfortable and it has a nice weight to it due to the metal parts and the brass that are inside the pen. Now the ink that I'm using is Fumo di Londra, also by Venustas. One of my favorites, I love it a lot. Overall, I really enjoy this pen. I think it is a beautiful pen. Very, very interesting just to look at. It's a very comfortable pen and I love 
writing with it. It's $289 and it is on the high side, but there's no other pen that's like this. And for such a great writing experience with a titanium nib, I love it and I think it is really worth the price. Next are two pens from Gravitas, which is a company in Ireland. And these two pens are the Sentry and the Entry. Gravitas has several pens in their line. These two are two of their more popular pens, and I can see why. The bodies of these pens are made of aluminum that is bead blasted and then anodized. The color on this Entry is in dark green, though there's several different colors available. And then the section is actually stainless steel that is PVD coated and then has micro machined grooves for a little added grip. The weight is perfect on this and it feels like a dream to write with. The nib on this is a Yovo number six nib and the one that I have for both of these is in medium. The cap comes off with about two and a half turns and is postable and posts pretty deep. The writing experience is fantastic. Just a tiny bit of feedback, a great ink flow. It is a great writer. Now it comes with a converter and it also accepts cartridges as well. And the ink that I'm using in this is Irish Green by Diatrementis because of course I did. Now the Century is very similar to the Entry in its design. It has a similar shape. It's thicker and just a little bit taller. It's made with the same materials and has the same function with the cap and of course uses is a converter that comes with it or cartridges as well and has the same Yovo number no. six nib unit. Now the color on this one is teal. To me, this looks kind of like a Pelham blue. And so because of that, I had to get Diamine Pelham blue for the ink here. <laughs> there is a lot to love about these pens. These have become kind of my go-to pen. I love the construction. I love the feel of both of these. I love that almost everything is really thought out. I love that it comes with these leather pen sleeves, which is a great touch for this type of pen. It is a great pen with a very modern look to it very sleek and to me, I think it has a very masculine appeal. These are such great writers. I love writing with these. It has such a great ink flow. It's a very pleasurable experience writing with these pens. The prices on these also are spectacular. The entry pen is 65 euros, which comes to about $68 from today's exchange rate. And the Century is 85 euros, which is about $89 as of today. And the fact that they also come with leather sleeves is just an added bonus here. This is a fantastic value for a truly spectacular pen. So if you're smitten with the looks of these pens, you will be more than pleased with using these every day. Next is the Nautilus pen by Narwhal Pens. Now, Norwal is a company that I have had my eye on for a while. What's great about Narwhal is that they make everything in-house. This is their Nautilus pen. It's a pretty oversized pen, I would say, but it is just beautiful. The attention to detail on this is spectacular. Everything about this pen I find is very, very good. This pen is actually made of ebonite. Ebonite is a hardened rubber material, and what's great about ebonite is that it has a different feel than other plastics out there. This one is in Colonia Green, and they offer a few other colors as well. On the side, there's three ink windows, so you can see the ink levels on the inside, and I like that they kind of look like submarine portholes. I think that's just a really nice touch. The cap unscrews with about two turns and is not postable. The nib on this is actually very nice. I like it a lot. This is their in-house nib. It has their Narwhal logo on the base there. It is beautifully engraved. And the tip I got on this one is in fine. I like this nib a lot. It feels great. There's a little bit of feedback. It has a great ink flow. And even the thickness I find is pretty perfect. It might be a little bit thicker than a traditional fine, but isn't necessarily a medium either. It's kind of in between, I find. Now, of course, I had to get the perfect ink for this pen and I chose Van Diamond's Sea Turtle. Another interesting thing about this pen is that it's also a piston filler. It's a great feature for this pen and especially at this price. So far using the piston has been a joy to use. I love the design on this. Everything about this pen is beautiful. It is a truly exquisite pen and it hits far above the price that you pay. For $150 for a pen like this, is almost unheard of. A truly spectacular pen, well worth the price. Go check out the Narwhal Nautilus. And now if you wanted a recap, I'll have all the pens side by side, all next to the Enso pen in the middle. And I'll also show all the writing samples that I have for these pens. All right, so I know that's a lot of different choices for fountain pens. I absolutely love fountain pens. I love everything about them. I think they're so, so cool. I think everyone should have at least one fountain pen in their collection to write with, to enjoy the kind of slower pace that a fountain pen brings. I think it's a very enjoyable experience with writing, and I think all of these pens are excellent, excellent pens. I'd love to know your thoughts though, so if you have any favorite fountain pens that I forgot to mention, definitely leave a comment of your favorite fountain pens. 
As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below on your way out. I'll love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews.